Queens, before we begin, I wanted to let you know that this week is the last week for the Sucker Punishment merch. There will be one more design that's going to be limited edition and that's going to be an ugly Christmas sweater. So if it's something you're interested in, it is available in t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, and stickers. And if you don't want to pick up any merch or you can't for any reason, please don't worry about it. Commenting, liking, and sharing the video means the world to me. The only reason I'm doing two limited edition merch back to back is because of the changes in January that might heavily affect my channel. So I'm just kind of preparing for the worst. That's all I wanted to say. On to the regular programming. Hey Greens, when it comes to craft subscription boxes, it is really hard to find a fun and creative one at the same time. Because it feels like most of them that are out there are created by dinosaurs for a very stereotypical kind of audience. Which means most of them end up being... Or oh my god! Don't ever, ever subscribe to the Crayola subscription box because... Oh, ooh, yeah. No. The Crayola subscription boxes have got to be the worst on the market. Not only are they hyper expensive, but the projects in there are so dull and boring and dumbed down. That's probably quite a few of them, but let let's pretend there's this many reasons. Actually, there's probably more. Just don't go for Crayola. If you want to see my video actually reviewing the Crayola, I'll leave them in the description box below. I will be testing them out in the new year to see whether or not they've changed or if they're still full of salt. Or poo. Just poo. Alright, just a quick update. Crayola has since stopped selling their boxes. So, that's something. All this to say, I know that I review a lot of things that I absolutely despise. But sometimes I do put Salty Crafter, yes, this person over there creeping in the, in, in the back. I do tell her to go away. Shoot. Shoot. I do want to show you a craft subscription box that I absolutely love, and I've been getting these for the last few years. Some of you might be familiar with the name. And yes, it is the Sophie and Toffee craft subscription box. And so for cheaper than the Crayola subscription box, you can get the Sophie and Toffee box. Not sponsored, not affiliated. This is just one of those things that, what, what, wow. English, please come out. This is just one of those things that I love and want to share with you greats. I know it's rare, but I want to do it. If you have a brown, come here and fight me! They have a good fighting sense. <laughs> and if, for those of you who don't know, it is a monthly subscription box. And not only are the crafts in there fun and can be challenging, but they're also geeky for those of you who are geeky. They've had themes like Harry Potter, Little Twin Stars, and, and various other kawaii cute projects. Uh, did I just say kawaii cute? Did I just say cute cute? Because that's what it means. For those of you who want to say, But Jakey, the Crayola one is made for children. The answer is no! It's $50! Who would spend $50 every month, which is a premium price, for someone who is very little? And if it is for someone who is little, then why are the projects something like making a clock? Or a jewelry bowl? Huh? Look at me? Look at me. Straight into the windows of my soul! That's what I thought. So I am really excited for this specific box, and that's why I wanted to do it with you, Grains, simply because it is the theme of dragons. And I may or may not have been sculpting dragons quite a bit on my channel. I mean, I was so excited, I even wrote it down here so that I don't lose this box among all the other boxes. <laughs> Alright, enough, enough jibber jabber. Time to see what we get inside. I've been avoiding spoilers, so it's gonna be a surprise for me. See, the box looks really cute. Even this month, we actually have a little bit of hollow right on top. And if you're wondering, I do get the premium box, which actually comes up to the same price as the one from Crayola. So you can get the standard box, which is really amazing at 35 ish, or the premium at about 50, which includes items that are from Japan or really hard to get. All right, are you guys ready for this? Because I'm, I'm super excited. The theme of Dragon is. Drum roll, please. Okay, that's enough. And, ooh, I love this drawing. Hang on. So every month they do give us a cute custom thing. I wonder who does their art. It's absolutely adorable. Ooh, I'm saying ooh everywhere. Ooh. Two things that are making a special appearance. Like I have goosebumps because I am so excited and I am a dog on the inside. That's what I am. 
We have a Game of Thrones 3D dragon egg mold. That was a mouthful. And a D&D &D dice mold. That's exciting. What's in the back? Oh, if you want tutorial ideas, oh look, a coupon. If your greens want the coupon, go for it. And behind this card, we usually have the list of items and also the list of premium items. I don't want to look at it because I don't want to spoil the surprise. So this is going to go over here. Bah! All right, so we have this fluff. Why do I do this? I'm going to end up having to clean this myself, huh? What you do? So here's what we get inside and I'm going to calculate the value for your grains so you know how much you are saving in terms of the subscription box. We get a dragon shaker mold. The idea is that you cover the entire thing and the wings are going to be hollow and you can shake it. You can shake it. You can shake stuff inside. Very good English today. Since some of these items are either exclusive to the box, which means some of them won't be on their actual website anymore, or you get to get them first, they're not necessarily straight on their website. So I've hunted down equivalents to those, to those things. And so the prices will be over here. A 3D mold of a dragon egg. I'm so excited to try this. And again, it's not on their website, but I checked out other 3D molds. And here's the price. UV resin, which when hardened looks like a glass, a plasticky glass. And the 25 gram is not necessarily one that you will find directly on their website because it's a smaller one for the box. So I did uh, a little bit of mathing. Molds of dragon scales. If you're looking to make dragon scales out of polymer clay, you can definitely do an imprint and then use it as an actual tool for your sculptures. I'll probably do that. Ermi, good, these are so cute. Hang on, wait. Wait. We get four. We get four open bezel charms of dragons. One in an egg. One sitting down like a normal dragon, and the other one sitting down like a teddy bear dragon. And then we get another dragon just kind of, I guess, floating there, like he's just just flying, doing dragon things, like dragon dragons be. And then we get two specialty pigments, one in color shift blue, and the other one in a chrome red. Let's take a closer inspection. Always tap the top because you don't want it to spill everywhere. Watch me spill it everywhere. And here's the blue powder. Let's test it out. A little goes a long way. And here it is. You can see the color shifting on my skin. Next, we have the red one. Again, you need to tap it. Oh, we get a lot more of this one than that one. I feel like there may have been a packing mistake on this, but I could be wrong. But then again, this one has a lot more. Let's test this one out and doesn't seem to be anything special on skin, so we definitely have to try it with resin. But it does look really shiny. And then we get a pack of six scale-like glitter, from just glitter-type effect to hollow. Which brings this box to a total of $53.63 Canadian, and let's convert it to US, $40.29. And if you're in the UK, about 32 pounds. So are you getting the price of the box? Yes. Are you getting items that are somewhat exclusive? Yes. Will some of the items be in the store later on? Not always. But now, premium time. And here we're getting seven different molds for dice. Die? Dice. For dice. They did have a post that the bottom part of the mold might get stuck, so just be gentle when removing it. And if you're having a little bit of a hard time, slowly peel it off with a little knife. And this one is a D12. Is it? Oh, that is really cool. So they labeled the actual molds with the side of the dice that you're working on. D12. See, this one fused, so we have to be gentle. I thought they were labeling it based on the sides, but nay. This is a uh, an, an, an eight-sided dice, and it says number two on it. So my guess is that they're showing the bottom number instead of how many sides it has. This is the number 12, so you put your number one here. This has the number two at the bottom, so you put your one here. Technically, if they're all one, you should be okay. And this one has eight at the bottom, and it says eight. Oh, 
no. So even though they did mention on their Instagram that they are aware some of the molds actually fused with each other, if you ever did ruin your mold, they will send out replacements, so make sure that you do message them. But oh boy, that one is really stuck in there. So I removed as best as I could without trying to damage the mold as much as possible. Still very usable. But it's possible if it's too damaged at the bottom, it might not be leveled and you could get a little bit of a crooked, crooked mold. Ain't nobody got time for that. And luckily the bump is on the other side, so that's always good. So out of all seven, two of them gave me a hard time, the one with the eight sides and the D4. Other than that, the other ones came out pretty easily. And in addition to the molds for the premium box, we get another one of the resin um, containers. We get another 25 grand which again puts you at about $6 for this one. And usually molds like this will be somewhere around $1.50 to $2 each. The premium items come to about 15 ish dollars in total. So if you do the regular price box that we calculated plus the premium, it is still going slightly over what you're paying for. But again, are you getting it first? Yes. Are there items in there that could potentially not ever be in the store again? Yes. Are they packing it and shipping it and paying employees and all that stuff? Yes. Is it better than the Crayola box? Heck yes. <coughs> oh, Salt, I know you and Crayola are not friends. Let's keep it down for today. All right, so let's make a couple of the projects. I particularly want to make the shaker mold. And I'm only going to use the items that we get in this box. For the egg, I may or may not use other things. I don't know. I we'll see how I feel at the time. Oh, and I forgot to mention they did give us the shaker thing that we put here that we can cover it up so it doesn't spill all over the place. So the first thing I did is take the chrome red with that little fluffy thing and started putting it on the inside of the mold so that we can get a red fiery dragon. Once I did that, I went ahead and used the UV resin. And for those of you who don't know, UV resin you can leave it at your windowsill on a nice clear sunny day and it should take anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes to harden if the sun is out but as you can see today my little grains Canada decided to be just a little chilly and uh, dark and rainy so I'm going to be using my UV light out of default otherwise I would have definitely used sunlight so apparently as my resin hardened, I was like, whoa, whoa, what's that? And I have no idea how this air bubble happened, but apparently it did. So let's unmold it and see if we can fix it. Here we go. One of my favorite parts about resin is unmolding it. So that sucker out of there. So here's my dragon. It's a little splotchy. It doesn't show as much on the blue background, but look, let's get a white background. And here it is. So it has like this antique type look. I kind of like this look. I've always liked looks that are not exactly perfectly finished because I'm not exactly perfectly finished either. So what I want to do is take one of those glitters, cut a little piece of it and place it kind of like the little eye for the dragon. And then once that's done, because I want the eyes to stick out on their own, I'm going to put a silvery type scale inside the wing itself. At this point, since we don't get any shaker oil in this kit, I'll leave the recipe for a homemade shaker oil in the comment section below. One of the things I really wish they did when they're going to give us any kind of shaker charm, since they're printing these things out anyways, is maybe make the outline of the size of the actual mold. That's going to save me a lot of, you know, a lot of heartache. Maybe that's just me being lazy. So I went ahead and cut out the piece of, of like plasticky thing. Remember to remove both sides of that. And then we're going to seal it in with more resin. This whole mold on itself took about three quarters of the 25 grams resin. So if you don't want to do this with UV resin, make sure that you use epoxy resin. I know I'm probably cheating by using a syringe thing, but I actually like the shaker charm without putting oil, but I'm going to put oil just for you grains. So let's pour it down here. And now we have to seal it to make sure the oil does not come out. Just put a little blotch here. Boom. And essentially what we're doing now is making sure that all the surfaces as much as possible are even so that it doesn't feel bumpy lumpy. Here's my vintage dragon. I have to admit, I still don't like shaker oil in shaker charms. I prefer if the things just move without oil because I think I may have packed it more, more than needed. So things are not moving on the inside. I done messed up. I done messed up. So technically we're supposed to be able to shake this. So I'm going to put a video from Sophie and Toffee's Instagram so you can see the idea behind this that I totally didn't do right. So for those of you who want to say, But Jakey, you did it wrong. You are absolutely right. Just let's move on. For this next part, I want to do a dragon egg. But 
I want to do it color shift, but that is not all, my friends. I also want to make it glow in the dark. I'm not sure if the combination is gonna work, but hey, how else are we gonna know unless we try, right? Nerdy wisdom. So the first thing I'm going to do is take that color shift and rub that stuff on the inside of the mold, and then mix the glow in the dark pigment with the UV resin. All right, now for the tricky part, we're just going to be pouring the resin in here and then pushing it. Let, I don't know. I don't know how much resin we need. I think that's a little. That's a, it's a little too little. So maybe make more. Or actually, you know what? Maybe it might be enough. I don't know. Let's let's push that little thing in here and I think that's enough. All right, yeah, we have enough. And here's my favorite part. Ooh, I can already see the color shift, but we already messed up here because we have a little too much air bubble. So I guess it's one of those things that's just going to take some practice. Okay. And these are extra bits, by the way. We only want the round part. <gasps> oh my god. That is pretty. Pull these things off. Oh, that is pretty. Let me make a second side and let's see if it glows in the dark. And this is our second one. I definitely did way better on this one than the first one. Ooh, so pretty. And with two halves... You can definitely make a little dragon if you want and then glue these two together with resin and then kind of make a little egg dragon egg. Get a dog today, oh my god. All right, let's see if it glows in the dark. And off we go, lights off. I guess that is slightly, lightly disappointing. The glow in the dark is really, really faint. You can barely see it. This is with the exposure. So the light is really on in my room in terms of the camera, but it's very faint. But hey, at least the color shift is absolutely gorgeous. I would use this on sculptures. <gasps> the Sophia sculpture needs this. And since I'm a curious little fella, I really wanted to make one of those dies. Dice? I wanted to make a rolly thing. So I took whatever leftover of the glow-in-the-dark black, mixed it all up with some of the chrome red, and then I realized, wow, Jackie, you don't have enough resin because it's not... It's not doing the suction thing. So I decided to be a little adventurous and added a little bit of that clear resin as it is in its pure form. Maybe it'll give us a cool effect. I don't know. I just wanted to see what it looks like to make a little, a little dice, a little die. And again, the best part, let's unmold it. Wait, that's the wrong side. You saw nothing. Turn around. You saw nothing. <coughs> All right, so let's pull this off. Ooh, how cute is that? So we have that 10 endant. Is it, is it really that deep? It's not that deep like a philosophizing toddler. Wait, those are deep usually. And, oh, that is so cool. So we can see all the numbers pretty clearly. I love the black and red. That is very Halloween-y. I'm going to go ahead and color the inside of the numbers so that they pop out a little more. I'm going to use a kind of yellowish gold. I absolutely love this dice. I mean, come on, I, I, I should probably make a D10 in order to see my probabilities of succeeding at things, but let's just stick to rounding the numbers down. What is the likelihood that you grains will leave a comment saying I'm a, a little puff teak? I don't know what that is, but it's something now. And the chances are that you're going to leave that comment is 20%. So it's not very likely that you will comment that. Let me know what you grains think of this box. With Sophie and Toffee, luckily, if you're a new subscriber, you get what's called a starter box. So you have to subscribe to that and they'll send you the necessities. I already have them for a long time. So I'm not quite sure what's in the starter box. Of course, with any subscription box, make sure that you do your research. Check the Instagram feed, read people's comments, see the overall satisfaction level of customers before you commit to any subscription boxes. Just because I say or any YouTuber says that they love a box or love some product, make sure that you still do your research. It's quite possible that you may or may not like it. We're different people. I am really excited for Friday's video. It is going to be a really cool project. I am like, are we good? I need to get this done ASAP. So remember to have your notifications turned on for Friday. It is going to be a really cool video. I mean, I'm not joking. Look at me. Do I look like I know how to joke? The answer is no. I'm for serious. If you want to watch a cash or trash, because this video just had not enough salt for you, check it up here. And if you want to watch a crafty video, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.